Well, as a proud IC grad, Christy, I know that the school has wonderful facilities at IC. And as a proud SU grad, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff, I can tell you, almost nothing beats a college campus quite like the Dome. And you are right. <laughs> it's hosted so many things over the years. Now add another. I talked today with an SU professor who's using it for his large lecture class because of the pandemic. I tried to make it no different than any other stage, and I wanted the students to feel like this is no different than any other classroom. It's just a really big classroom. But at the same time, it's not lost on me that, wow, I am projecting on this new video, multi-million dollar video board that most fans haven't seen in person. The pandemic has kept fans out since the Dome reopened in September after its long roof renovation project. But SU figured why not let students in for class? Schools trying it out is a large lecture hall for Jeff Rubin's Intro to Information Technology class. With so many students in it, the only way it can happen in person on campus because of social distancing is to do it here. At Syracuse University, there aren't many large classrooms. So in my mind, we just found another. Ruben says technically holding the class is not his biggest challenge. That is teaching it hybrid style, making sure those learning remotely can hear and see the material just as well as the 120 in the dome. Right now, this is the only class being held here. But Ruben says other large classes, online only now because of the lack of space for social distancing, could easily use the dome for in person learning this semester. And there's also another advantage to students taking classes in the dome. I opened the, the, the lecture yesterday by saying um, I just got my COVID test because I was here. I encourage all of you to arrive five minutes early or stay five minutes late. I mean, they all have to get tested every week. And how convenient is it that Monday and Wednesday mornings they're, they're right there? Ruben says there's no reason the Dome can't host things like conferences and symposiums in the Dome the same way when the pandemic is over if they fit with the building's busy schedule.